Hi guys, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this demonstration video I'm going to show you how to manually move around terminals inside a terminal strip. Now why do you want to move around terminals inside a terminal strip? Let me show you by giving you an example. On my screen over here I need to create another motor or I need to add another motor to my um, schematic. So what I can do is I can either create a macro or simply select this and copy and paste my circuitry and just place that in here. Now that's all great. All the marks have been automatically updated. But for some people, um, they might say we've got KM2 over here. KM1 on the right hand side doesn't make sense because KM2 is the first contact that we see over here. So this needs to be KM1. Similarly with the terminal strips, we've got X1, terminal 8, 9 and 10 and here we've got X1, 1, 2 and 3. So it makes more sense to have X1, 1, 2 and 3 over here. So what we can do inside SolidWorks Electrical, we can solve this issue by going to Process, Update Marks, make sure that I select all these options here of what I want to renumber, click OK accept the warning and as you can see now this has become K1, KM1 we've got thermal strip X1 with terminals 1, 2 and 3 now let's have a look at the terminal strip in a project so go to the project tab I'm gonna left click on terminal strip we're gonna have a closer look at terminal strip X1 and as you can see over here it automatically renumbered everything. However, my terminals in the terminal strip editor are at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm going to move them up to the top. So there are several different ways of, of moving terminals around. I will show you a couple of different ways. You can shift select the three terminals at the bottom and then you can drag and drop them. If you select this bottom edge over here, so over there, and then you can just move them up like so. Now my 4 is still too high so I could of course left click to select it and then start dragging this little start dragging it by the edge and move it down so that will work as well. However I can also select the terminal itself go to the advanced tab and hit the down button here. That will move them down and up as well. We can still define the levels and we've also got the option to invert my terminals as well. So if you end up with a project where your cable is defined on the wrong side of the terminal, then you can select that terminal and actually invert the two terminals around. Very handy. Now to finish it off, you can see my numbering is correct now. We can also um, see that our cabling is still um, not correct. So we've got the black wire of W2 and then we've got the blue wire of W2. What that means is it just needs to be updated visually. So I just close my terminal strip editor and open it again. And as you can see, now everything is updated nicely. That's it for this week's video. Thank you all for watching.